Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the topic for today is another balance update that are currently happening now in the public test realm and they call it Armor 2.0. So without further ado guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see from the post uh, I'm showing to you, it's it, uh, it's re from Reddit, but technically the announcement was ca came from the God Unchained Discord posted by Eclipse, the uh, community manager. So uh, they call it a uh, 2.0, and the question is why they need to do an uh, PTR update dedicated only for armor, and what are the other changes with other cards, especially with cards with an armor or ability so uh first of all guys uh this information uh, i will copy paste the link on the description below so you can read further and technically the the original posts are only in the gods unchained discord and you can see that one if you go to gods unchained discord go to the balance update there's the announcement is posted there and there's no post on the blog spot or especially on the gods unchained website Okay, no post in God's Unchained website, especially on the blog spot. Okay, so why they need armor? So technically what happened, there are lots of complaints with the armor, especially those armor with more than above armor 1. So technically armor 2 and above are, are considered as uh, too powerful. For example, uh, will be like, for example, if we have like giant pangolin with 2 armor and 4 health, what happened is I need 4 three three creature like three strength creature four just like to kill the giant pangolin with armor too so what happening is technically uh if your strength is equal to the armor technically you will not able to damage the creature because it will be absorbed by the armor so if i have like three strength uh comparing uh, attacking a with a two armor technically he will absorb uh, will take a one health damage and that was how powerful and the problem is this is like a permanent so what happened is because it's permanent it's more more powerful uh, than the uh, protect so protect remember it's a one time it's like a one time protection from any source of damage no matter what amount so for the armor it's like a permanent and it literally blocks negate uh, strength equal or lower uh, to that armor value so and that's what's the big complaint so now what will happen guys uh similar with protect and similar with the relic there's like some sort like a durability so if the creature receive a damage uh more it's like a damage technically he will re reduce minus one armor so for example giant pangolin right i attack with a, a three three creature technically he will receive one damage now, once it's done, he receives one damage. What will happen? One of the armor will be reduced to one or be broken. So technically, think of it as a relic, like a relic now. So uh, if the creature is a 2-2 two -two creature attack the giant pangolin, that the two armor will absorb and never cause any damage to giant pangolin, then there's no armor reduction. So the only armor reduction every time a health has been reduced and it bypassed the armor itself. So that is like, I believe like a good idea. For example, uh, Polyhemia having a four armor, technically it's the very difficult for you to kill him using a creature or weapon, especially those four armor. At least you have like opportunity chance to bit by bit to break the armor one by one. So from, if you deal six damage or deals five damage to you, uh, poly, uh, Polyhemia, uh, your next damage, it will only have like three armor because it's more than the armor. Okay, so that's the idea of it. Now also, uh, uh, it this means like there will be a lot of creature will be like uh, uh, if armor two point zero will be updated. Of course, some of the creatures or card must be updated just like to make benefits of that changes. Like for example, uh, we all know that if if the one armor uh hit like for example the the guild enforcer currently it's three five with one armor so technically if i attack a two two on guild enforcer automatically it, it will disappear so any armor one will auto automatically will disappear if it's armor two then one minus so there you need to uh, do some balance changes although also with other creature that can produce armor 
<laughs> and also with creature with armor. So at least you, you have like this a a a a workable uh meta for those armor related uh cards. So that will be like as you can see we have a list here and we're gonna go tackle it one by one. So first thing is the Smith's hammer. So as you can see here, it's a weapon. It's just changed from five casting cost to four. And it will, as you can notice, the Smith Hammer will just uh, reduce to uh, four casting cost. It's a one-two equipment that every time it attacks, it will give armor to each of your friendly creatures. So, uh, so one armor, a, a breakable one armor now, and they re reduce the casting cost so to make it more playable early rounds. <coughs> okay, so the good thing is all creature. Next one is the plate. Uh, File fur. So the plate file fur, it's a four cast one five with blitz that absorb uh, that uh not steel armor, not absorb armor. So technically, what will happen here from four casting costs, it will become now three cast. So this is a good card now for deception because this one has blitz, so it literally and having having a five help means literally. I, it's not also good versus uh it's not also good versus for just with armor but good uh good uh creature remover especially it has like more health the downside is just one attack but i think it it's, will be more playable compare what it's been used now <clears throat> so venerable paladin uh what will happen if the new is armor one frontline after after like give this creature armor to your strongest so previously it was Give armor to your weakest. Now goes to strongest. Uh, give uh, give all. I uh, know before give all of these creatures armor. Now armor one. Give this creature armor. So okay. So no, I think it's same same thing, guys. Uh, it's just like the stats and from weakest to strongest. So what happened is like it become now two three. I think the three casting cost works with the two three two three health. And with additional armor, it become like two four. So if he dies, the ar if he dies on, <clears throat> so this is the thing. Uh, if he dies, what if he someone's attack him at two two? He become now a two two without armor. And if he dies, uh, because he has no armor, means he will not give the armor to other creature. Uh, that's like the big question here. Uh, give these creatures armor to your strongest. So that's what happened. So if he die as a two three or two uh, two three with one armor. If he die as a whole, he will give the armor to the creature. But because armor are now breakable, if he's now become a two two or he uh he's been attacked by a two two, he become now a two two without armor. When he dies, means like he will not uh pass on the armor. So that's the drawback. <coughs> but instead of weakest, now it's strongest. Okay, uh, loot squire. Uh, looting squire. Uh, looting squire. He just added a three to cast three two with one armor. So technically, uh, one armor. Think of it as like a one additional HB, but it absorbed one damage. So he, I think this is more playable now. Something like a raid revealer equivalent in terms of three spots. And the good thing is like a three, uh, a three three a three two. So every whenever another one of your creature dies, he will get plus one armor, uh, and that's the thing. So in early round, if if for example I attack my creature die, uh, I before I attack cast uh looting squire, and if I attack and that my creature died, especially like for example, uh, vanguard axe woman blitz, I I attack and he dies. Technically, he become now a three two with two armor. So. I think this is like a, a, a good candidate for a fr uh, aggressive uh, kind of deck. So Armadillo Familiar. So he became like a 2-2, two -two, just stats increase. Uh, stat increase. Uh, at the end of your turn, if you have played two or more spells, give this creature plus one armor. So a one casting cost 2-2. Two -two. If next turn he survived, uh, as long as end of turn, for, for example, uh, so it means every time I play two spells. So this is good, especially for the tempo aggro, where uh, or tempo card draw aggro or card draw aggro means like uh, because of uh, the card draw ability, I have like more spells, one casting spell. It means like I can like have one 
every end of turn, I get armor every turn. So I think it's okay. Uh, it's a one to cast two two. Uh, and that's the thing. I need two spells before to give him one. Uh, I think it's playable. Uh, for the aggressive one with lots of one and using your card draw ability just to never to have more spells for the armadillo familiar. Uh, Bronze Gate they already nerf uh buff him back. Be be previously he was like a two four three to cast two four, but now because of the armor are breakable now. He, they gonna return back his original health, which is 3 to cast 2 4. Aspect of Pangolin. Uh, so, the Aspect of Pangolin, uh, what happened is, is a uh, instead of give plus 3, it will now give plus 2. But instead of random creature, uh, it will be now a target creature. So, for example, if I have a giant Pangolin, I can give more, uh, if I can give a plus 2 armor. And the good thing is, the casting cost instead of 4, it became 3. I think that's good also. I think uh, people might play more on this one. Let's see if the increase. Uh, there's a slight increase of the <coughs> price. I think that's good playable. Also, Spiny, they said one the most will, will be affected. Because as you know, uh, Spiny Porcupine has four armor. <coughs> they just gonna change his stats to 2-3 and remove the... So he become now a 2 3 4 to cast. So 2 3, yeah, same mana, 4 to cast. 2 3 and with one armor, same ability. Uh, technically, if that's 2 3 with armor, armor think, of, think of it as a 2 4. Uh, I think that's uh, okay. Uh, maybe they should like put him like 3 casting costs. I think 4 casting costs. There were are lots of still good 4 casting costs, like the underbrush. Uh, the underbrush boar and the starving uh starving saber tooth. I would rather go there because they have like a massive attack. Especially the starving saber tooth. Like a 2-4 for four, four casting because I think that's not good. Not enough. I believe not enough. Make it they should like make him three to cast. Uh Grand Vault uh from 3-3 three, three to 3-4. Three, so this is like a front line uh from <coughs> a front line can attack. So they just add one more health. To make it more hard to kill. Cadmus. Uh, Cadmus, instead of like, uh, they just changed the stat, not the ability. So same ability, it became 3-4, which is okay. Uh, the problem with uh, Cadmus is that uh, he will no longer be affected by the some of those uh, two strength spells. He, uh, especially uh, Asterius. The second thing problem is because he's forecasting cost, there are lots of good cards in forecasting cost, like uh, Master of Indulgence and also Hibernate. Knight. So add him, him, you make your total of five forecasting cost, five copies. Usually, uh, Light are now are famous because of being a low cost, uh, high strength and high health, like the Zoo Agro, like literally, uh, like Winnie's. So that's the problem. So I believe the best way to buff him uh, is make him to. Three casting costs rather than four. Heart of Bronze. Uh, so Heart of Bronze, it's nice. Instead of just only plus one armor, it will also give uh, plus one strength here. As per here, one strength. And the good thing about this, this can be comboed with the Enraging Talisman. So the Enraging Talisman. Uh, the Enraging Talisman is... Uh, it's an ability. Uh, once you tap it, deals one damage. Uh, give each creature plus one strength and deals one damage to them. So technically, if you have like Heart of Bronze, uh, because armor are uh, one armor will negate one damage, absorb one damage. So technically, you will benefit from the uh, plus one without having a downside of uh, minus one in health. So this is like good uh, combo with the. Uh, the bronze heart of bronze. So let's see if there will be a comeback of frenzy aggro, uh, animated armory. So this is like four casting costs. Uh, same casting cost. They just changed from black link and armor. Uh, after you summon a creature, raise its armor two plus one. So the good thing is instead of like only focus on Olympian and mystic faction, all creature that's include uh, a non light, uh, neutral or uh, anything that uh, any faction now. The only downside of this one is 
that it's still forecasting cost. Like I mentioned, there are like too many popular forecasting cost cards now. So imagine you have Highborn, you have Master of Indulgence, you have Cadmos. Now you're going to add this one. So technically, uh, you might run out of spaces for the forecasting cost. So that's the downside. Uh, Panforge Master uh, of, uh, from 3.3 3 to 4.3. Uh, Panforge Master. So they just changed the stats here from forecasting cost into 4.3. So the only downside here, guys, is that there are like more good forecasting costs in the Zoo Zombie deck or Nether or Zoo or, or Zoo Death, especially on 4, especially the Undecaying Rhino uh, and other four, uh, 4 creature with a better health. So I think that's the downside and that's the main reason why nobody playing Panforge Master. So Guardian of Simulacrum, so, so uh, the problem from him is that instead of at the end of turn, it became now uh, at start of your turn as mentioned here. At the at the start of your turn, this set this creature equal to your total spell boost. So that's the downside. Uh, it was like, uh, it. this is a nerf for Guardian Simulac Simulacrum because uh, there's a currently a meta like the turtle uh, Structure Turtle, magic, magic Structure Turtle. They're relying on Chapter of Artistry to boost him, uh, to boost, to give more spell boost to, for him to get more armor. The sad part is that it will be instead of an end of turn, it will be the start of turn. So technically, the opponent has an opportunity to kill him before he gains those abilities. So that's the downside of the difference. The next one is Miasmic Forge. Uh, the Miasmic Forge, uh, in terms of instead of deals two, it becomes now deals one damage to, uh, to your to, to both gods. So before it was only you will take damage to damage. Now both gods will take deals one damage. And the good thing is after you summon a creature, uh, you give up a plus one armor here. So good for the zombies. Uh, good for the zombies, but still the main problem of the zoo zombies. Are the creature with armor because majority of uh, of the zombies are one one like one strength. So technically, if opponent has armor, especially versus war now, if they have like bronze of heart, means like I have like no more damage now. So no damage means no heal from the leech. Uh, blood armor. Uh, for each creature given armor this way deals two damage. So, uh, but that's the problem with this one. So. Currently now what's happening, it will give uh, we, it will give armor to all creature and I will receive two damage for each creature I give. So this is like a suicide. If I summon a, a out out number the living, I get six zombies and cast this one, I will receive 12 damage. So this is like a suicide card. It's a suicide card unless there's a combo where we can switch health with the opponent. Which creature given armor this way? This too. Yep. And the last thing is the most uh most famous uh one of the most famous nature, especially now they're gonna put him back to armor too, which is I believe is needed uh for him like to survive. So the two armor uh will give uh giant pangolin the ability to uh survive after once he attacks, especially because he's blitz, right? Especially if he attack a tutu. Uh, a two two creature randomly, but because of confuse means like there will be no damage on him and no armor reduction. So I think uh, giant pangolin deserves to be uh, on armor too, also especially if it's gonna have like a there's a way now to broken it or remove one for damage. So guys, overall I believe uh, uh, the thing that I'm seeing like the uh, 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 gonna benefits on this. Uh, PPR once they release it in in the real uh, update uh, the giant pangolin uh, Cadmos I think it will, uh, we might see some player may add Cadmos because it's three attack it means like it can deals more it's like a big threat now on the board it can literally kill any and because he has one armor uh, uh, bronze out Bronze Gate might be a comeback and even the Heart of Bronze, especially the Heart of Bronze for like the Frenzy Aggro 
combined with the enraging talisman or anything that has like uh, ability like the even the enraged god power like imagine deals one damage if that has an armor means it will get more power so we can we might see a buffing a buffing uh armor uh war type type of meta uh like a frenzy armor meta deck uh so that's what i'm seeing so uh, uh big hurt for spiny porcupine big hurt for uh the uh blood armor and sp especially the guardian simulacrum which is there's a lot of a a, a magic uh structure turtle deck aspect of pangolin uh, still playable especially they reduce the armor uh they reduce the casting cost even though they reduce uh, the armor because now it can you can like select it now rather than a random and uh that's it so now the big question is will this hit the production or the it will literally be uh, be patched to the actual uh godson chain uh, that will be a big question. So what happened? War 2.0, they managed to implement it. Sleep 2.0, they cancel it because there are lots of feedback that they, it might hurt more the Deception rather than the board Wipe deck. So the armor, who knows, it might create a new meta, especially for war. Especially for war and uh, nature. And uh, we're gonna wait. So if you have like uh, uh, like uh, like a suggestions, Kindly uh, uh, go and go to the this GU Discord and on the balance update or like on the general channel there, just message what do you feel like what's need to be done on the Armor 2.0 to make it balance. Okay, so guys, if you have like questions and suggestions, kindly please leave me a comment. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like and see you next time. And thank you for watching. There's a distance between us